Hi everybody, this is Ron with Uncle Tony's Garage. Today I'm going to introduce you to tires. A lot of people have to put tires on their car right before winter sets in. It's a great idea. Get some traction on the ground and get you through the snow and the ice and so on and so forth. What I'm going to discuss today is choosing tires for performance applications. Most of us want to go fast in a straight line, get down the street, get down the racetrack, whatever we want to do and beat the other guy to the finish line. And you're not going to do that with junk tires. First off, we want to discuss tire sizing. The tire width is referred to in the tire size by the first three digits of that tire size, such as, in this case, this is a 275-60 R15. That 275 means this tire, when mounted on a wheel, is 275 millimeters from sidewall to sidewall, from here to here. It has nothing to do with the tread width of the tire. It's just simply from sidewall to sidewall when mounted on a wheel. The second portion of the tire sizing is the tire aspect ratio. In this case, it's a 60 series tire, meaning that from the rim to the tread surface is 60% or roughly this much of the tire width. On a 50 series tire, you're going to have less percentage, so it's going to be a shorter tire. On a 75 series tire, you're going to have a greater percentage, so it's going to be a taller tire. After that comes your rim size. Uh, in this case, it's a 15 inch wheel. They make them, of course, for 16, 17, 18, 20, 26 inch wheels. Clear on down to 12s. Uh, or even if you have a little Mini Cooper, they make them down to 10 inch wheels, but they're available to fit of various uh, size of wheels. Do not try and mix wheel size and tire size. Don't try to put 14 inch tires on a 15 inch wheel and vice versa. That's a recipe for destruction. The second thing I want to discuss is the UTQG ratings of the tires. Back in the late 70s and early 80s, the federal government got involved and started telling the tire manufacturers what they had to do in order to sell tires in the United States. So they told Michelin and BF Goodrich and Goodyear and everybody else that they had to put a rating on their tire so that consumers could compare the tires uh, more readily. Three things are included in the UTQG rating. The first one being tread wear. The higher the number, the longer lasting the tire. The lower the number, the shorter lasting the tire. And from what I have found, the shorter the number, the stickier tire. So when you're out shopping for a tire, try and find something that's 200 tread wear or less, and you're going to find a stickier tire. If you get one that's rated at 400 or above, you're going to have one that's hard as marbles and it's going to skate all over the place when you stand on the happy pedal. So the second number or the second grading in the UTQG uh, rating is going to be your traction. The traction rating according to the federal government and UTQG has nothing to do with straight line acceleration. It's all wet inline braking. Basically they measure a distance from the time you're going from 55 miles an hour to a full stop on wet pavement. Measure that and if you're in the short distance you get rated an A. If you're in the next longer stage you get a B. Next longer you get a C. And there's nothing that I've seen that's rated any worse than a traction C. And they're going to slide pretty well on wet pavement. A and B traction seem to work okay on dry pavement, especially on a drag strip. I have yet to encounter anything with a C personally. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there can respond and tell me what you found with a C traction rating when on dry pavement. After that, we have our temperature rating. The temperature rating in the UTQG can be rated A, B, or C. That is the tire's ability to dissipate heat. When fully loaded, at maximum pressure, a tire with a uh, temperature rating of A is going to cool faster than is a, a tire that's got a temperature rating at B or C. From what I found with my own personal experience, B temperature ratings seem to hold their heat a little better for starting line grip. You get them hot, they stay hot, they stay sticky, and they work pretty good out there on the starting line. I've had decent luck with uh, A temperature ratings, but B seems to be better. So if you can find a tire that's got a tread wear rating of around 200, 
a traction rating of A or B and a temperature rating of A or B, you're going to have a pretty sticky tire. When you're choosing tires, keep in mind that width is not everything. The wider the tire, you're going to have a wider footprint on the ground, of course. But the taller the tire, the longer the footprint will be, and the better the tire will be suited to putting traction to the pavement. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for the optimum in traction for drag racing applications, get the longest footprint you can find to put all that power to the ground so you're not sitting there spinning on the starting line.